Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's arena time. Well, it's that time again. I've played Mage pretty recently, and Rogue. I don't like either of these two in the arena, but it looks like I have to play Warrior this time. To even things out. That's starting me out with a Legend. Meh. Meh, Legends. So we can get the Beast, which is potentially very powerful. Also potentially a little suicidal. Maybe in the arena I should take this, though. That's like very strong arena type thingy, maybe. Master Overspark, of course, super random. Eh. Captain Greenskin could definitely work with, like, he's the, he's the least likely to backfire. He's not great stats for the cost, but if you have a weapon out, and I'm a warrior, hopefully I will get some damn weapons, then he's doing a pretty good job. So it's like safe or potential crazy witness, but also very backfireable. Uh, I'll just take Captain Greenskin. I haven't got enough problems with the warrior. I'm not going to go super risky, although maybe that's maybe he has enough problems that I should just go risky and hope for the best. I don't know. Um, not too excited by you. You are garbage, and you are cheesy. Ah, fine, I'll take the cheese sword. Probably just win. Or probably just never play against a class that has secrets, or I'll play against a class that has secrets, and they won't have secrets, because it's the arena. Direwolf is very solid. We'll keep that. You suck. Shield block? It's intre like, it makes your deck a little slower in terms of mana, if you have to use that. But, like, late in the game, it's making your deck thinner and giving you a little survivability for it. The, the Dragon King Sorcerer can be strong. I mean, he's not bad at 3-5 for 4. You do kind of want an ability for those stats. His ability could work okay. I don't think I'm going to have that many buffs as a warrior. I think I'm just going to take Shield Block and regret it, instead of taking the other guy and regretting him. Um, I'm pretty fond of Fairy Dragon over Argent. These two are both really good. Um, he's way more warrior that's for sure. I think I'm going to take the Frog, though, for smashing. Uh, no, I'll take him to make up this for the fact that I didn't get the Sergeant, even though the Sergeant is even better. Zero cost is pretty good. Uh, Zombie Chow, uh, Charge could be, you know, if I had the Beast, Charge would be awesome. But, uh... It's like, oh, by the way, I hit you for 11 for 9 mana. <laughs> but, uh, Torn Warrior's not that exciting. Let's take the charge. See if we can maybe get a kill out of that at some point. Um, you're bad. Er, yeah, you're like a pain in the ass. You're mostly bad. That can could be good if I get weapons. I do need to get some weapons. So I don't have any mechs yet. If you have a lot of, like, a mech deck, this guy is awesome. If you don't, then, yeah. I don't know if I have any way to... I've already got the dire wolf to, and the charge to potentially give it attack, although charging this thing is pretty sad. And the inner rage. I've got some things, so I could go with that and hope for the best. I could take the abomination, which would give me a little bit of defensive control, maybe... Yeah, I'm going to take him. I'd probably rather take the Clunker, but I didn't have the mechs for it at the time. Of course, now it's going to give me all kinds of mechs. Um, Warbot's not that exciting. Right? Like, if he takes damage, he becomes a 2-2 two, two minus whatever. Like, if it was more than one damage, he'll be even smaller. If you inner rage him, then he becomes, like, a 4-2, which is pretty rough early on output damage output-wise, but still not that tough. Unless you got mech stuff, I really don't think he's worth it. Pulse Rider is pretty solid, I guess. I should probably take the Cult Master, even though he always screws me. Um, you're good. They're overpriced. Execute. Definitely want to have executes, if possible. Um, between him and... I don't like this guy. Sets are wrong for taunt. Pay one less and not have taunt. Usually I'm going to be happier. Harvest Gloomers are good, but having more big things might be better. Um, the, the Rocketeer is another option for finishing. Yeah. 
The unstable ghoul would give me some kind of taunt. It would do damage to things. How how awesome is it to do damage to things? Not necessarily the most awesome. The taunt might be helpful, though. Oh, well, I'll take the stupid rock here. Just don't... For, I don't know why. I don't have a good reasoning, but I don't feel like that's what my deck needs, really. Uh, the Battle Rage... None of my things have hit points. Sort of... I don't know, I'm gonna take the battle rage anyway, because card drawing is really good if I can get it to work. Do I wanna have double cult masters? Uh I'm gonna take the Panther. And I think we gotta take the Warsong Commander. I don't have a super awesome plan for her. But uh I don't have that many things actually that qualify. You know what? She I don't think that's going to work out in this deck. I think I might be better off taking a Warden to try and pick my Cult Master. Um, Shield Slam is tempting, but we're definitely taking Gorehal. Crush is also tempting. Like, this is this is crazy. It's This row just shows you that, like, oh, if you want to be able to kill things as a warrior, you better have epic cards. Like, thanks. I would love to have these spread out with other rows. That's, like, actually unreasonable because they're all epic. But, damn. I have to take Gorehal, because it's much more potentially game-winning than the other ones, as a rule. Um, <clears throat> I think I've got mid-range, sort of big creatures sort of covered. I don't think he's necessarily what I need. Squire, I mean, you can interrage the Squire and she lives, but then she's a 3-1. whoop de doo uh, Let's take the Voodoo Doctor. Uh... Force tank max would be good. I mean, I don't have that many really big things, but I think uh, the execute is super good. On the other hand, having more weapons would be good. Captain Greenskin, not a big consideration. It's mostly just having more weapons. I think I actually need this more than I need the execute. But I'm gonna. Either way, that was a bad. Like all everything in that row was critical. I'd trade them for anything in this row, even though I really like him. <clears throat> uh, he's pretty good too. My deck's gonna be a little on the fat side. Not necessarily a bad thing. Um, I should probably take the Annoyatron, given to my decks being on the fat side, but I want the Taskmaster, because they're awesome. Wow, I could have had so many Cult Masters. Not really necessarily that helpful. Uh, let's take the Stormwind Knight. I don't want my deck clogged with those. Hey, here's another row of all excellent commons that I really wish I could swap out one of these for the cards I choose from a lot of other rows, but I think he's the strongest... He's the strongest. I don't have that many buffs for the dragon guy. Um, you guys going to be survivable enough for the rampage? I, this o too often ends up being a dead card. It's really strong, but it's easy to screw it up somehow. Because your opponent usually kills your things. And you don't want to attack with a minion to get it damaged and then play that right away. And if you don't play it right away, your minion probably won't last long enough. It seems good in theory, but it's hard to make it work reliably. <coughs> Now, I have a fair amount of fat in here, but it's not the right kind of fat for a Larmobot. I don't have, like, a whole bunch of gigantic things that I can't cast where it's worth that risk. I don't have that many mech things. I didn't find out until recently that if you have no, like, minions in your hand, a Larmobot just stays in play. But, like, I had no idea. But Priestess it is. I don't think this deck is a winner. I tried to even out the casting cost as well as I can, and it has a lot of fairly solid sort of four or five cost minions, but I think it's probably lacking in too many areas. No area damage. I don't have any crazy sick just like win combos, unless you count Captain Greenskin and Gorehal, of which I each have one copy, and that's still not like a... That's strong, but that's not like an insane like... Warsong bar fight combo. Yeah. Don't think I have enough things for stuff for killing things because of course the execute had to come in the same row as the we as the fiery war axe. I'm glad I took it because I would have had n I would have had no weapons other than Gorehal. I would have had only the one. Pitching you and maybe a slow start. I don't think the starting hand battle rage makes much sense. I think I'm going to keep the Warden so I have something you guys, because I have a fair amount of other, like, four or five cost things It could... I guess it couldn't have gotten much worse. I guess I probably should have fished him anyway. This is a horrible starting hand, though. So 
There's a complete and utter lack of things that I can cast. My opponent's hand is if even remotely contains, like, Kirby or, like, contains minions he can cast. I'm going to be in trouble. <clears throat> Draw on 1-1 one, one token. Yes. That's what we want to see. He's going to beat my face in, but one hit point at a time, hopefully. Where were you all my life? You're kind of a dumb play right now. We're just going to armor up. Next turn, I can actually coin out something of value, and I got my choice. So if he doesn't do anything particularly impressive now, I'll be okay. Well, then again, if he doesn't do anything impressive now, then what is in his deck? I mean, probably bigger, better, fatter stuff than mine, so... I lose either way. Um, so fight that... Do I coin him out? If he doesn't cast a spell, he could just attack it twice, and this would survive. The Warden would be pretty easy to kill through. I think I'm going to put out this guy, even though the swords can kill it. If the swords kill it, I get a card. If there's a Blessing of Kings, I'm just going to lose anyway. Yeah. Push it in Ghoul, okay. So he's going to take that trade, because he's got the ghoul out of the deal. Ow. Deck hand. Can't do much with deck hand right now. Uh, he is big enough to kill that. I mean, he's doomed, but I think I'm going to have to use him for the greater good here. I'm Drogzor. definitely not getting ahead. Drogzor. Probably going to... Hit me for five and just sort of go with it. As long as he's not planning on casting spells, I'd probably end up having to trade him to kill that. I wonder if he would suicide this guy here and then hit me for five. No. That is some serious junk you've got there. So I could kill that and then I could draw two cards which would be nice, but I really need to get things on the board right now. I am not in a good position to be doing that. On the other hand, what else am I going to do? Play junk that won't survive? Yeah, basically. Let's work on it. We'll play him to protect that from the 1-1. It's probably going to die, but no, I think I'm going to draw the cards and then heal him a little this guy. This is not brilliant either way. I don't know what I'm doing. This is probably not the time to be drawing cards. But, uh... Do that. This. Job done. And then next turn I have the option of doing sort of War Axe, Deck Hand, Charge or something. Or I can extend her to suicide and take him down, potentially. As long as he takes any damage from anything. Oh yay, a cult master. Good thing. It always works for my opponents, not so much for me. It's a card for his 1-1 one, one token. Hooray. So I've got to kill that and still take that out. Uh, okay, no secrets to steal right now. So this can kill that. Um, the deckhand not actually going to be relevant to this, but I could definitely play the War Axe, kill this guy so he won't get the cards, then kill that, and then he won't have an army. I'll be low in health, but it's worth it. What now? Maybe play him next turn. In the meantime, let's just get this guy out, because boy does he ever fight well against this particular opponent. <laughs> So, have I stabilized, or is he going to keep doing crazy stuff? Because he is obviously way ahead on hit points. Ah. I can play too much, because that is, like, seems like a waste of equality, but it does still hurt. Like, I am behind, so I can't afford that kind of beating. Where were you when he had a 6-6? Six, six? I'm sure you'll come in handy later. Um... So I'm going to take a bunch of damage from killing that guy. If I put out Captain Greenskin, he'll give me another use of this. The extra damage won't help so much, but I can do that. Probably will, and then we see if whatever pops out of him can be killed by a deckhand. 
Already half dead. It can't be killed by a deckhand. Hooray. I'm going to armor up then. Couldn't get something with two hit points. Eh? You just, like, no. I could have hit it with a deckhand and then executed the cannon. That would have been really worthwhile. Okay. That sucks really bad. Is he even going to bother killing Captain Greenskin with the Noetron out there? I'm going to play it safe, just in case. I'm pretty doomed. I'm going to have to waste this and him just to get through that, and then do what? I don't have any taunt in my hand. I mean, I could send suicide her to kill that, which is a poor deal, but I might have to do it. Everything's a poor deal. Attack with that first. Actually, she would technically survive if I use her to kill that, and then I kill that. But I would take way more damage, and it would still just get killed by this. I don't think that's actually worth it. It's good to note, but... Well, she would survive, and then she would get boosted up to two hit points, which doesn't matter, so yeah. And that's how bad the situation is. I'm gonna throw this out to get, like, killed by the cannon. The war goes badly. I had an incredibly bad starting hand. I think a third of my deck costs three or less. Start if I could have started with any cards from that third, other than the card drawing that wouldn't help. That would have been good. Wow, this would be a great time for a whirlwind attack that I don't have. Um, if I could play these two. That's probably the best I can do since he's not gonna. Yeah. Oh, I guess I could play two of one of the four costs. Play this and armor what? up. No. He gets killed so easily compared to him, though. I think he's, he's going to fight better. But not armoring up, I'm just going to die, aren't I? That's nine damage right there. So, yeah, armoring up is actually probably smart. Okay. Not that it matters. There's no way I'm coming back from this. Captain Greenskin, perfectly good card. Not like a crazy game-winning legend like some of them are, especially in the arena. Baron Geddon? Baron Geddon can win you a lot of games in the arena. Captain Greenskin, probably not as much. Yeah, I'm dead just from the stealth. Like, what am I going to do to get rid of him? I don't have a roll. Do I even have a taunt left? I have the Abomination. The Abomination could maybe almost deck me? Not really. Uh, shield block, probably not as much, but I gotta cast it anyway. Cause... Shield block, Gorhal. Gorhal, though, I'm taking damage for whatever I kill, so it's not actually gonna save me. I, mean, I can kill that, and my guy will survive, but then be killed by a 1 1 if he can't scrape up the 13 damage. Awesome! What if I kill now? that. If I play this, even though it's not stealing a secret, then I can still armor up. It's probably my best bet. Play cheese, only without the cheese. He's got 15 hit points. He's got 10 damage out there. I gained a shocking amount of hit points. He was just assuming he'd be able to kill me, guaranteed, because of this. Which, apparently, he can't. But... No brainer. He can just like fight me and he's still gonna win. I am not in much danger of coming back here. Not in any danger of coming back here. Reporting for duty. Wow, he can that's he can like contribute to wearing me down with that piece of crap. That's four damage if I live long enough to take four damage from it. Um Do what? Nothing much. I'm just gonna die. There will be no point.
Yep. I need to get a better start than that if I'm going to, like, stay in the game. I don't think I have enough ways to come back from problems here, but we'll, we'll see what I can do. I mean, I still have a lot of solid minions that can fight. Often that does well. It's a lot better if you're a priest, but we're going to struggle on as a warrior anyway next time. Put the hammer down on that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to Demonac Games for more Hearthstone Arena and other gaming videos.